Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Tuesday Tea with Cinnamon. I'm your tea host Jennifer. <laughs> Today's tea is Tea Leaves a Brand. This was sent to me by one of you beautiful people. It is the Tranquil Peach Flavor. Uh, it says it has lemon verbena, apple pieces, rose hips, natural peach flavor, pineapple pieces, peach pieces, and chamomile. Chamomile to some people. Alright, not a huge fan of peach flavor, but I wanted to try this. Uh, Mr. Cinnamon says it sounds really good. I'm not a fan of peach. I said this before. Oh, it smells very peachy. We're going to see. <laughs> It is very chunky of fruit, which usually is my favorite go-to teas. A lot of apple bits floating on the surface. The rose hips all sunk to the bottom and the fruit pieces are floating on the top. See? But eventually they will hydrate and they will sink to the bottom. This is, is it dripping? Look like it dripped. Um, this is the tea leaves diffuser that actually came with the tea. So let's look at it as rain and tea. So we're going to let that set and steep. I have my Ray Dunn hot teacup. Red to go. Red to go. Matter of fact, I got some Splenda packets ready to go too, which I just got wet with the teaspoon. So that was not good. I'm just going to put some Splenda in there because I like my tea sweet. Said that before. I like my tea like I like my men, strong and sweet. <laughs> so, we're ready with all of that. Where are my coasters? There's my coasters. I do a rainbow one today because they are perfect for my big giant mugs. The coasters were also sent to me in Happy Mail, which is what we're actually talking about today is Happy Mail. I will link the tea below. Some of you are going to love it. Some of you are not going to like it because it's peach. We're going to see if we like it. I've never had peach tea. I just hate the taste of fake peach, like peach candy. And I don't like eating peaches because they're furry. But, and I also told the story like a week or two ago. I think it was like two, three weeks ago now at this point. But I told the story where I ordered a cheesecake. This is long before I was a diabetic. And this was long before I realized I had a gluten allergy. I ordered a cheesecake and they said that the cheesecake is flavored by whatever fruit is in season right now and the waitress didn't know what that fruit was going to be and so she brought it to me and there was these little yellow cubes of fruit and sauce and I was like I have no idea what this is and I ate it I was like oh that's really good and I asked the waitress I said what fruit is this and she saw I'm not really sure I think it might be peach but let me go ask and I was like there's no way that's peach I don't like peaches like I don't like nectarines I don't like <laughs> Is it nectar? Yeah, nectarines. I don't like anything that is like peach related. Love plums. I love plums. Um, she came back. She's like, yeah, that was peach. I was like, I didn't think I liked peach. So I'm like, I, I think maybe I'm picky with peach, but we're going to see if we like this or not. Um, I got some happy mail to share with you. So some of this came before premiere week. Some of it just came yesterday. I have another package in the P.O. box today, as a matter of fact. It came from... Where did it come from? Let me check my application. And all the boxes are cute and small this time, so I didn't have to go up to the counter. Because whenever I get a box above, uh, like, above 10 inches, I have to go up to the counter because they don't fit in the boxes. Let me look at my app. Because I had one and it went on a trip. This is the second package that has gone on a trip this year. It's just, it, it's supposed to come to me. It hits Richmond and Richmond sends it off into some stratosphere somewhere. Do, 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 do. do you guys have the informed delivery app on your phone? Because if you do not, you should. If you are part of the United States and you have delivery service, the informed delivery app is part of the United States postal service. And it like alerts you to all your mail. And not everybody knows about it, which is crazy to me. Alright, so this package that is in my... It came from North Carolina. Holt Mills, North Carolina. Okay? Which is a couple hours south of me. So this is this is the whole trip. Like, it went for a trip. Okay, it left Holt Mills. 
It went to Fayetteville, North Carolina. Then it went to Raleigh, North Carolina. Then it went to Richmond, Virginia, which is an hour south of me. Then it went to Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania, which is two states above me. So above Virginia is Washington, D.C., Maryland, and then Pennsylvania is on top of that. <laughs> then it went to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Then it shot back down to Richmond, which is again south of me, whereas all the rest of that was above me. And then it finally arrived at the Fredericksburg, Virginia post office. <laughs> I just was like, all right, like, let's go on a trip with my mail. All right, so let's, I don't think I've shown you any of this. All right, so this, this package tickled me to like, no, was it this one? No, it's not, it was that one. I don't remember what's it, oh, this one did, this one did. All right, so this one is from Sandy in Ohio. Where, where are my blue glasses? I know my blue glasses are over there because little man brought them to me the other day. All right. <laughs> I don't generally read my mail, but this one. <laughs> oh. She said, I know it's not exactly like your cup, which let me go. Let me go grab that. I'll be right back because I want you guys to see. Mr. Sunderman is still in the house with smoke again because he's cooking breakfast. This is my cup, okay? I, it's always filled with water, okay? She said, I know it's not exactly like your cup, but you totally but you totally made my day. I don't think you realize how much you mean to your viewers when you say we make your day, but really, it's you who makes ours. Thank you for putting your true self out there. Keep on keeping on. From one of your loyal viewers. Sandy in Ohio. Okay, this is my water cup. This thing is vital to my existence because being a diabetic, it is very important to stay hydrated at all times. And I drink at least one of these a day, but most often it's two or one and a half because this is leftover from last night. And it's filled to about here. And it's still got ice. Okay, which is why I like this. I filled this up around seven o'clock last night and it's still icy cold delicious. sent me also some St. Patrick's Day stickers which are fantastic because I just had to order some because I didn't have any <laughs> and I like to I do planner stuff okay is this not perfect okay I mean it's pretty darn close this makes me so happy now I'm like I want a smiley face for this <laughs> I have a cricket machine I could put a smiley face on it but like is this not the cutest little keychain ever it's my daily reminder to drink my water and go get my big cup. So stinking cute. So stinking cute. I just really, really like that. It's even got the little silver around. Right here. Isn't that cute? It's its baby. It's just, that, I mean, like, literally, I squeed when I, I was like, oh! <laughs> so... Thank you so much for making this for me and sending it to me. It's just so stinking cute. I mean, I can do stuff like this all day long. I really could, but I don't enjoy doing little stuff like this. And I have, like, for a long time wanted just a teacup. <clears throat> just a teacup. An amigurumi teacup. I know it would take me about an hour to make one. I can't bring myself to make one and I never would have thought to make a version of my pink cup because this makes me so much happier than a teacup because <laughs> I literally carry this with me everywhere I go. If I'm going for a ride in the truck, that is in the cup holder. If I'm sitting on the couch crocheting, it's in the cup holder. If I go on the back deck to spin yarn, which I've been doing a lot lately, it's on the deck with me. Like it, it goes everywhere with me. And if it ever breaks, I'm going to cry because, like, the neon colors make me so happy. Look at how close to the color that is. <laughs> I'm just going to set that right there with its mama. 
So thank you so much, Sandy. This one tickled me too, and I'll tell you why. This is from Ireland. Okay, so I came from Dublin Mail Center, right? It's an actual St. Patrick's Day from the source. <laughs> I was like, I got a St. Patrick's Day card from Ireland. Like, that is the coolest thing ever. Like, my job is sometimes very complicated and difficult and stressful. I'm going to be real honest. You think, I mean, it looks fun. Like, I just come and I turn on the, the thing and I record. But there is a lot of planning and work behind the scenes that you guys just don't see. And, like, one of the coolest parts of my job is not only getting international mail, but, like... I got a card from Ireland for St. Patrick's Day. You have no idea how much that means to me. Growing up, I was always told I was Irish. I like my grandfather lived down the street. And I've said in the past, he was not any kind of grandfather to us. He was not. He, he favored other children. It was not us. But he was a daily presence in my life. But he was not any kind of grandparent. Okay? He did not come bearing presents on Christmas. He did not acknowledge our birthdays. He didn't know when our birthdays was unless my mom told him that day, wish them a happy birthday, you know? Um, it, it was that kind of situation. So, but my memories of him growing up is he always made corned beef and cabbage on St. Patrick's Day. And on that day, he was Irish and he told everybody, he listened to Irish music. Like, he thought he was Irish. And then <laughs> he may be somewhere. His brother did um, the the ancestry thing and said that they actually they're British and that they have relatives that signed the Declaration of Independence and were a knight in the UK. And so, um, in, in Britain. But it, it was just, it was weird. I was like, and it's funny because that side of the family all grew up to be drug addicts, so... <laughs> I was like, how do you, how do you digress from, how do you, <laughs> how do you go from, we were knights, we were somebody who was a knighted and somebody who signed the Declaration of Independence to, we're all drug addicts and alcoholics. Like, I, how, how does the family tree grow that crooked? <laughs> so, Irish heritage was always in my life, but we're not actually, I don't think we are. I'm German. I know that my dad's side is German. His grandma actually is straight from Germany. Um, I'm proud of that, I, that, that heritage. All right, so she sent me her address. Her handwriting is so cool looking. And there's a little Patty's Day sticker on here. This is from Ellen, in case I didn't say that, because I don't think I did. To Jennifer and family, happy St. Patrick's Day from... Your fan, Ellen. Greetings from Ireland. I wish I could talk in an Irish accent because I love an Irish accent so much. <laughs> All right, so super, super cool. Thank you so much, Ellen, for the card and the letter. Totally appreciate it. And I'm going to tell you, this is how much I'm into St. Patrick's Day because we go all out for St. Patrick's Day in this house. Mr. Cinnamon dared me to buy this and put it in a video. <laughs> this was from the Dollar Tree. He's all, I dare you to buy It's child size, so it doesn't actually fit my face and it keeps on to slide off. But he's all, I dare you to film a video with that on your head. And I was like, you buy it, I'll wear it. <laughs> I think it's fitting, right? St. Patrick's Day is not till I think this weekend, but I mean we can celebrate early, right? <laughs> like I'm wearing green. I didn't even plan that out. I just put on my favorite shirt. <laughs> All right, so moving right along. This tea doesn't look like it's doing a whole lot. I have to let that sit a little bit longer. All right, next. This package came from Pensacola, Florida. All right, I know who this is from. This is from Carrot Boo, otherwise known as Nancy. Nancy! Oh, yeah, that's something different. All right, so Carrot Boo, otherwise known as Nancy, first of all, has been extremely supportive and loyal to this channel, and she has sent me, like, the coolest things in the past. And is it really hard to take me seriously looking like this? <laughs> She's also been extremely supportive of Juju's shops. Like, she has bought 
from Juju I don't know how many times. And then she had a little baby cinnamon bun recently. Um, and she kind of disappeared for a little bit off the channel because she's busy being a mom to a newborn. And her baby, she sent me pictures on the Facebook group. And she sent, she, she sent pictures and I was like, this is why I haven't been around. And I was like, her, I kid you not, her baby looks like one of my babies. Her baby has the structure and the face and the little cheeks that my kids had. <laughs> and so I look at her baby and I'm like, that could very easily be my baby. Like, it, she just looks like one of my kids. Which is crazy, right? It's just crazy. And so she's been posting pictures because her sweet little baby girl watches cinnamon stitches on the tv and there's pictures and videos of her actually watching the tv with auntie jenny on there <laughs> auntie cinnamon right and so i was like okay she's mine like i'm claiming her she's mine <laughs> that that's that's gonna be this is irritating a little bit but like she's gonna be she's gonna be she's gonna be she's my niece or something like i'm her her auntie i'm her aunt like whatever you want to call me i just she's adorable and it melts my heart when i see little kids and babies specifically watching me because um hi baby carrot boo hello auntie jenny sends her love <laughs> i love it dude i love it okay i do um i have a very select few nieces and i have a couple nephews and I don't have a relationship with anybody on Mr. Cinnamon's side. Like, none of them even know me. Because they're on different parts of the country, you know. And um, I raised two of my nieces. Like, I raised them. So, I don't know. The, the term Aunt Jenny or Auntie Cinnamon even, like, means so much to me. <laughs> even if it's just by name only. Like, I'm just, I, I, I don't know. Um, I used to... I used to be a photographer in my former life and before we moved here because I I couldn't make it work here the people just like there was a lot of things that just didn't work here and when I was in Michigan I gained relationships with a lot of the kids more than the adults and I'm not particularly a good I don't like other people's kids very often so when I was in photographer mode and I really bonded with these kids it was special to me and I got to work with a few kids, Payton, Payton with special needs, and he was born with a lot of complications. And that kid just kind of captured my heart as well as his siblings. But there was something special about him. And then there was a little baby girl, Adia. Adia is now, she's got to be a teenager. But I photographed her very first photo session when she was an infant. <laughs> and I photographed her until I left Michigan when she was about seven, I think. Well, no, I left before she was seven, but I continued to photograph her till she was about seven because I would go back to Michigan and photograph her. And there's just certain kids like that. Um, I had a client named Kelly and she had a lot of little girls. <laughs> it started off with her oldest daughter, who's Kaylee. Her name is Kaylee. And then she had another daughter and another daughter. And like, I think she's got like five daughters now. And, um... I will never forget every single session I had with Kaylee because when it was just the three of them, like Kaylee was this beautiful, like one of those children that should be a model. She was mixed race. So her skin was like this beautiful yellow tone and she had blonde, really tight curly hair that was long and just go like the child was gorgeous. And I believe her eyes were hazel or green. <laughs> like she was beautiful. She still is. She's like 13 or 14. She might even be 15 now. I met her when she was like three. Shy. She didn't want to be near me. She didn't like that it was cold outside. And I won her over. <laughs> and like, I don't know. I don't know why I even got on that subject. Anyway, Caribou sent me a present. She sent me yarn, which is so beautiful and so sweet and so generous. This yarn is another of those packages that went on an adventure. It went from Richmond. So this, this came from Pensacola. And it went up to Richmond and then bypassed Richmond and went, I think, to New Jersey or something like that. No, it went to Kansas. It went to Kansas. So it went out west. Kansas is nowhere near Virginia. In case you don't know the United States geography, Kansas is in the dead center. It's a good day and a half drive. Yeah. So 
really, really crinkly bag. Ba a bag, yeah, bag. So this, she ordered, Nancy ordered this from Bad Sheep Yarn, Nancy Caribou. And I think they have been showing up in my feed lately. Because I feel like the name looks familiar, but look how pretty these yarns are. This one's my favorite. <laughs> these are so pretty though. I have yarns from Arcane Fibers that are going to match this perfectly. And so like I'm really excited about these colors. So, and they're DK weight. And I just bought DK weight yarn from... A lot of the yarn I bought from the Wool Festival this weekend was DK weight. So I'm trying to aim more towards DK or worsted weight yarns because I'm going to reach for them faster. Because fingering weight takes so long to work up. And while there's a lot more yardage and I can do more things with fingering weight, I'm trying to use get yarn I'm going to reach for first. So I'm so glad this is DK weight. I'm so glad. This is the color Folklore, which I kind of love. It is very woodsy. It is very woodsy. And like I said... I have yarn from Arcane Fibers that will probably blend with that pretty good. Because <laughs> I believe I ordered um, DK Weight from him as well. And then this is the color Rainbows and Airwaves. Because, I mean, she knows I'm all about the rainbows. <laughs> Look at the colors on that. Isn't this gorgeous? So this is from Bad Sheep Yarns. Small batch, hand dyed, hand wash, lay flat to dry. 70-25, so it's a super merino nylon blend so so pretty gorgeous thank you so much nancy i'm gonna put that over there with my fancy yarns my fancy yarn. and then this this is from angela enjoy your gift i love these hooks i hope that you like them also i love your videos i start my day with your videos from angela angela s she sent me crochet hooks and these are, and I believe Angela reached out to me and she asked me, have I ever tried the Divot Shilp hooks? And I said, no. She said they look a lot like the Omi hooks. And I was like, no, I haven't tried them. She's like, well, you need to. If this is the same person that reached out to me, because sometimes I cannot match the member's name, because you, your name on YouTube are not always the same as the e the ones that you sent to me. So it's really helpful if you put your, your YouTube tag, but I don't remember. Her name might be the same. But it was a while ago. Like I said, it was a couple of weeks ago that I received these. And it was a couple of weeks ago. I want to work on my spindle. What? I want to work on my spindle. Is it dry? Or do you... T the, uh, stay there. They stay are, there. They are the ones. Here you go. There you go. All right. Go out. Hopefully I learn how to attach yarn. What? Just if you need to... I think I attached some last night. Check it and see if I attached the sum. If not, just wait for me, okay? He likes spinning yarn, which is crazy to me. All right. I don't even know what I'm saying. Something about Angela and the internet. Not a clue. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> so I do remember she commented and asked me about, I think somebody did. It might have been her. Like I said, it's been a couple weeks. It's been a couple weeks since I got these. I opened these like two weeks ago, I think, and it might have been a week ago. And the message was more than that. So anyway, this is one of the hooks she sent me. It's a wood hook, but it's got the handle, like the Omi that I love. It, this looks very much like an Omi, except it says Divot Shilp on it. And it's got a less pointy head. It's more rounded, but this is also wood, so that might make a difference. But I really like this hook. I like the way it looks and I really like the way it feels in my hand. And the fact that it's wood but it's really slick feeling makes me happy. And it was wrapped in really thick. This paper feels like the paper that stickers like labels come on. I, I, that kind of made me laugh. <laughs> Amazon be doing some weird stuff. So it says purple heart wood. Oh no, there's different, different sides say wood. I was going to say that ain't purple. And then she sent me, she sent me three hooks. And then she sent me this one, which is very similar. I don't think I have it in my drawer readily available. This is very similar. I don't have it. It's probably in my binder. This is really similar to the, um, an Omi hook that I have. Except this is fatter. And this almost looks like purple. It's either, it looks, it looks purple down here and brown down here. It looks like an Omi hook, 
which I've had people ask me. This one is a 10 millimeter. Um, I've had people ask me like, what the, what's the difference? I have no idea. The boxes look the same, but it's labeled differently. It might be the same manufacturer in India. Because I know, I believe that Divot Shop also makes urns. So, funny thing about the Omi hooks. The Omi hooks are made by people who originally were making resin urns. Like, you put ashes of a dead body in. And then they started making crochet hooks with their leftovers. I, I don't know. <laughs> that's a weird... That's a weird transition. <laughs> Divot Shop also makes urns and so it might be just the same company with a different name on it and i absolutely have an omi hook that's identical to this one except it's a skinnier hook so this is a seven millimeter which i really needed because i only have like one other seven millimeter hook um i have this hook in a 4.25 and it's identical and it's an omi hook and this is the divot shop is it yeah See, and this one doesn't even have Divot Shop on it. This absolutely looks like an Omi hook. So, I'm going to say they're the same thing. I'm going to say they're the same manufacturer, even. And I'm going to say a huge thank you to Angela, because, I mean, a girl loves her hooks. You know this. <laughs> thank you so much, Angela. That's going to go right in my hook drawer, and then eventually it's going to be filed into my really cool notebooks. And in case you're new here, you don't know what I'm talking about, my notebook. These are the best case holders ever for crochet hooks. It's supposed to be a pencil pouch. And I'm going to re... Uh, I'm going to show you guys again because... See, there's my red ones. Oh, no, those are the furls ones. That ain't it. There it is, right here. Tell me that ain't the same hook I just showed you. Except it's a, oh, it's a five millimeter. So, and look, I got a whole page open for those hooks. See, these look exactly like, they look exactly like Omi Divot Shop. And these are available on Amazon. That's where you buy those beautiful, beautiful hooks. And you can also buy this pencil pouch on Amazon. I will link those below. Because this one was gifted to me from Karen. Super sweet. And I'm so, I love her so much for it. <laughs> because I would not have looked at these twice. And she's like, you got to try it. And then I ordered a second one for myself because I have a lot of hooks. Oh, those are not cute. And they come in a, a hundred different designs. But yeah, that's my Omi, my Omi hook, my Furls hook, my Divot Show hook case. So, I'm going to pour my tea, because even though it looks really light, I'm going to say it's got to be done by this point. And all the fruit pieces did not sink to the bottom. They stayed floating, which is crazy, but... And just like that, it's empty. Now, this is the cool part. You just set it on top of your cup, and it automatically drains, because there's like a push-button drain in there. I didn't think, I don't think I brewed enough tea for this big giant cup, and there's a lot of Splenda in there, so there's a good chance it's going to be way sweet. <laughs> That's very peachy. It's very, very peachy. If you like peach, you're going to love this. I'll link this below, too. Tea leaves. Come on. Whatever that says. Tranquil peach. I will link that below. It's actually not bad. It's peachy, but not a fake peachy. And I'm picking up something else in there. It's gotta be the lemon verbena. It's good though. And it's not overly sweet. So I put just enough sweet. It only made a half a cup. <laughs> only made a half a cup. That's a big, it's a big cup though. All right, moving along, I was sent tissue paper. So much tissue. Oh, this one, this one made me giggle too. This one made me so happy. <laughs> All right, let me find the note. This has more tea in it, 
and I should have opened this and tried this tea because this is this sounds so good. This is from Adagio Teas. Helen. And this is Honeybush Blueberry Pancake. We're gonna try that next week. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna leave it on my desk so I can remember. Alright. This is from Carolyn. Carolyn's in Michigan. I'm positive of that. Because I remember her name. Yep, Gregory, Michigan. Hope this finds you well. She saw these notebooks on Amazon and thought of me. And I'm going to tell you, I freaked out when I saw these notebooks. <laughs> I really like the tea. It tastes quite a bit like blueberry pancakes. If you don't like it, maybe someone else will. First of all, I hate pancakes. Okay? It's a texture thing. <laughs> that being said, I love the flavor of blueberry muffins. And blueberry muffins and blueberry pancakes taste very much the same. My mom used to make blueberry muffins. Mr. Cinnamon makes cranberry muffins for me and he has even developed a cranberry gluten-free muffin recipe that is phenomenal. And um, I I just don't like pancakes because they get real soggy with, with the syrup on them. They get like real soggy. And there's only been one pancake I've ever liked and it's been at Ohana in um, the Polynesian Resort in Walt Disney World. And it was a macadamia nut pancake and it was so good because it wasn't like real like spongy. You know how pancakes get? I love the flavor. I don't like the texture. So I think I'm actually really excited to try this. I'm really excited. My friend, I want to smell it. So we're going to pop this open. And I really wish I had remembered this was in here because we would have had this today. It smells very strange. It smells like the Cracker Barrel. <laughs> like the store part of the Cracker Barrel. <sighs> it smells very sweet. So it's got honey bush tea, rose hips, apple pieces, maple flavor, blueberries, natural blueberry flavor, blue corn flowers, and vanilla cream. Ooh, vanilla cream flavor. Adagio teas. Okay, we're having that next week. I'm already... That we got it okay so the tea it makes me excited it sounds delicious and then she sent me three notebooks <laughs> they're called bright notes and when i tell you i was excited when i opened these i was excited because color 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 <laughs> okay i have a thousand notebooks in this room let i mean this room alone i have my favorites this is one of my favorites I write so much notes. All of the patterns that I designed for Premiere Week are written in here. I write when I need to write links down for a video, which I failed to do yesterday in yesterday's video. I wrote them down and I didn't put them, so I have to do that now because I'm filming yesterday. Good job. I'll be in there to help you in a little bit, okay? So notebooks are vital to me keeping on task and keeping everything running for the channel. And the fact that these are multicolored, like, make my... You guys already know, I've said this a hundred times on the channel. Color lights my brain on fire. Like, it... Color inspires me. Color makes me want to do things. Color makes me want to work. It is a stimulus for my brain. And if there's a lack of color in my environment, even I... My brain doesn't function. It, like, shuts down. It's like, yeah, there's nothing to look at here. <laughs> Whereas color makes me happy and makes me want to be productive. I don't know why my brain works that way. I wish I understood it, but it, I'm just going to chalk it up to an ADHD thing. And, like, look at color. There's neon green, neon pink. There's white in the middle. Beautiful blue color and neon orange. And I have three of them, and they're going to go in my notebook drawer. And actually, one of them is probably going to stay on my desk. So thank you so much. I heard you the name Carolyn Carolyn all right next this is from Nancy this is a different Nancy this is Nancy from she's got yarn too and I knew she was sending this like I think it was like two months ago now she said she was making a video she's walking through Michael's and she's all I'm going to look for something and some about she said my name cinnamon stitches in the car she's talking about how I love color and she saw a yarn that reminded her of me and so my ears perked up because she had mentioned my name in the and so I'm like watch it and then she goes in and she's all 
this yarn reminded me of someone and I'm going to send it to her and I don't know who or she didn't want to say my name and like she's all it's going to be a surprise and then I was like it's got to be me because those are my colors I love this color yarn like she just was talking about me and color and she kind of gave me a hint in the video like it's got to be me right and then I didn't hear anything from her for like two weeks <laughs> Nancy is like that sometimes though like you just don't you won't hear from her and then she'll start texting right and it's it's all good and so um a couple weeks went by and then she made a video that she showed this yarn or something and then she texts me and she texts me and she said I have something for you I'm gonna send it and then this was like a month ago and I was like okay like and then nothing like nothing I'm like well maybe she forgot maybe she's mad at because this is the way my brain works okay I automatically think everyone is mad at me all the time if I have a lack of communication they must be mad at me they must hate me that's how my brain works I do the same thing with Mr. Cinema if he's quiet for too long in the car my brain instantly goes he hates you he doesn't love you it's a trauma response and it's also I believe it's a trauma response due to ADHD things that happen when you're a child like you get a lot of getting yelled at for unnecessary reasons because you are just being yourself and you get a lot of being told that why can't you be like so-and-so like why can't you be a normal child I've said these words to little man why can't you be normal <laughs> I've said it to him I've been told constantly growing up why can't you be like your older sister thank god I'm not but like thank god I'm not I'm just gonna say that thank god I know I'll pick that up later <laughs> I gotta clean the room anyway. It's it's a mess in here. <laughs> and I know I'm gonna yell at myself in about two minutes. Like, why'd you throw that on the floor? Even right now, I'm like, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. And leave it. We're gonna forget it's there. <laughs> Nancy sent me a note. Just wanted to show you some happiness. Just wanted to share some happiness. She wants me to have a wonderful spring. And she wanted to say thank you again for the boggy blanket pattern. It me meant a lot to her and Boggy Creek. If you don't know, I designed a blanket pattern that was for the Boggy Creek B Brigade or whatever they're calling themselves. Um, Boggy Creek is a camp that is in Florida and Nancy was trying to promote it last year. Well, she did it the year before too. Her and her friends, Billy the Crafty Floridian, Nina's Next Knots, Charmed Grammy. I know I'm forgetting somebody. A lot of podcasters got together and participated and did stuff um, just to make blankets for this cramp. It's not a cramp. For this camp in Florida that was started by Paul Newman, I believe. <laughs> There's a lot of information going through my brain. I'm like, I hope I'm getting this information correct because I don't even think any of those channel I, I don't know if the channel names were correct. So anyway, um, Nancy and a couple of her friends, her mom actually started it. They would make blankets for this camp because the kids get to take a teddy bear and a blanket home with them from the camp and the camp is for kids with with certain ailments um and they group the kids with certain with certain ailments together so they'll have a week camp that is just kids with asthma they'll have a week camp where it's kids with just i i don't know what diseases and what ailments they accept but they have like they they try to get all the kids like cancer and like whatever else whatever else the kids the kids are plagued with and they make it a fun experience and they have all these amazing things that they do in the camp and i've watched videos on it i've watched their videos on it and it's just a beautiful thing to do for little kids who don't deserve the lot they got in life and I made one single blanket because it's all I could manage to do and I designed a pattern for it um, that a lot of you participated in and um, it was something so small that I did like it was minuscule I literally just talked about it I got a couple of you on board I don't know how many of you actually participated um, her numbers though because so many podcasters were talking about it her numbers almost tripled from the amount of blankets she was able to donate last year and there's a video i rep i reposted it that boggy creek actually made they were on the news it's a really big deal and i played 
like this big of a part in a giant storyboard. So thanks was not necessary. <laughs> I wish I could have done more. Um, and I would have done more had, had time and life allowed, but, um, you didn't have to send me anything. You didn't have to send me anything. But I'm so happy that you sent me this yarn because these, I wanted these for myself and I didn't buy them for myself. And this was the exact colorway I wanted. And I was debating between this one and I think I got a blue one. And Mr. Cinnamon liked the blue one better, so I went with the blue one instead of the one that I really liked because I figured I could make something for someone else out of the blue. But this is it, if and when I'm able to work with this, which I don't. <laughs> it's not going to happen for a while. I would really like to make myself a top out of this because this yarn is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. And these colors look amazing on me. These are my favorite colors in the whole world. So thank you so much, Nancy. I got a card from Debbie. You should know Debbie's name. Debbie is in Louisiana. And she sends me cards all the time sometimes weekly um and i'm a terrible pen pal because i never mail her back but she always sends me beautiful colorful stuff she includes stickers quite frequently i love that that's gonna go in my notebook or my my thing actually i was thinking because i have this tray it's just a it was seven dollars it's a tv tray and it's got the legs i use this in the living room when i want to be with my family and still have to work so I set this on my lap and I put my laptop on it and that way I can sit in the living room and enjoy time with my family but I'm still editing videos and processing videos and uploading videos because sometimes that takes hours and hours and hours and so I carry this around because it was a cheap it was seven dollars I got it at Lidl and what I was thinking yesterday is I want to put stickers on this because I have stickers on my laptop I have really fun stickers, including Johnny Depp trial stickers. <laughs> There's Juju bought me my first sticker for my laptop is um, a silhouette of Johnny Depp in his suit, but his face is missing, and it says, "Is that hearsay?" And it like that trial was so entertaining. <laughs> so maybe we'll put this. This will be my first sticker on my laptop thing, or my yeah, my laptop thing. So. I'm all about the stickers. I found some cherry stickers too. I think Juju took off with them though. Pura Vida. Is that a water brand? If I can get the sticker off. So I think I'm going to put some big giant stickers on here. Just to decorate it and make it a little more fun. I cannot, I cannot peel it. See how long, and I also have the shakes really bad because I haven't eaten yet. And I haven't taken my medicine yet. Love is love. Love is love is love. My first sticker for my sticker, that's going to be my sticker board. Alright, so the card from Debbie, I mentioned in a video. And actually, I have a present here also. I made a video. And I just said that I was having a really bad week and it's been kind of hard this year like I don't know January 1st rolled around and just a lot of things that have ha have happened that I have not either gone into detail on the channel or I have not talked about it at all that have been incredibly increasingly hard on me I've been dealing with a lot internally that I don't talk about and I mentioned in a video that life has been hard and I've been having a hard time and I got quite a few messages after that and comments and people reaching out to me in my email because um, I think they there are some of you there are a good amount of you that really see me on the TV and not just see cinnamon stitches and when that happens it is like oh my god moment to me because I have spent a good portion of my life completely invisible. Like, my own family does not care about me. And when someone that you've never really met in person sees the true you and sees your heart on the internet, it is crazy to me. 
I'm gonna try not to cry. But I said, and I didn't go into detail, that I've been having a hard time this year and like things have been hard. And I haven't really talked about why or what. And like I give you like little bits of details like little man is being bullied really hard at school and he got beat up again. And we're I'm fighting the school. And there's other personal things that are going on that just I'm having a hard time with, you know? And so I've mentioned that. And I don't say this for sympathy or for cards or gifts or anything like that. I say it because it's legitimately what I'm going through. So you understand if my mood is shifted in a video, it's because I'm really struggling to just be myself that day or to be happy go lucky Jen and cinnamon stitches land, you know? <laughs> and so some days it's really hard to smile or laugh. <clears throat> With that being said, it, that's just part of life, right? Um, it's just something we all go through from time to time. I just talk about it because I want you to know you're not alone. I want myself to know that I'm not alone. And that's why I talk about it. And like, if there's a shift in video, that's why. I'm having a difficult time. Am I in the danger zone? No. But I'm having a difficult time. Like today, I feel I feel fine today. I have a stomach ache, but that's like a normal occurrence. <laughs> Mr. Zinman's in there making me breakfast. It's going to be 70 degrees and sunny today. I'm taking Benny for a walkies, and it's going to be a good day, right? But the day I filmed that video, I said I, I was having a hard time. Like, I got a Better Days is Coming Soon card from Debbie because she sees my true heart, and she sees that I'm struggling, right? And she said we both need to remember that better days are just ahead she loves me and she hopes I'm doing better she enclosed a sticker she got a little while back she hopes I like it I mean you know I'm like that <laughs> she already knows and then this was also a a present this was sent through it says it's through Amazon um, a small gift thank you for being you and this kind of goes along with the same thing. Little reminders, you are enough. It's okay to have bad days. Don't believe everything you think. You are so very loved. Be kinder to yourself. Which goes right along with that card is, I need to remember all these things. This is actually going to go back here on my shelves. I'm going to look at it every day. I also have a little tag up there that was sent to me. You is kind. You is impotent. <laughs> you know who you are. That hangs on the side of my room so I can always look at that. <laughs> You all right? Miss Oreo is filled with tumors and she's been doing that hacky noise a lot. She's approaching 10 years old. And I think the tumor on her throat is pressing, which concerns us. <sighs> she's also having problems with her back end. She has something going on in her spine. Don't know what. But she keeps falling. Like she'll be standing there and then she just kind of falls backwards. It's scary. At, at first I thought she was having seizures. But it's not because she's still... It's her... And if you rub her back, like where her back hips are... Um, I think something is off in her, in her spine. And um, if you rub at the back by her tail, she actually will stumble. So... I'm concerned about Ms. Oreo. I don't want to have to put a dog down. I don't want to do that. I don't think I can handle that right now. But I'm also not going to let her suffer. Because I love her. I have nursed that dog back to health twice. From the brink of death. Twice. Um, last year when we got Bentley, he brought kennel cough home. And she got kennel cough which turned into pneumonia and um it was the middle of the night and she was just wheezing now you guys don't know i had a cat i had a cat i had her for let's see i think she died in 2015 i think she was 15 years old i feel like she was 18 maybe it was 2018 it was before my dad passed away she must have she must have been 18 when she died um she had cancer didn't know it and we didn't know it until she started to stop eating she stopped eating 
She's this tiny little runt of a cat. She never weighed more than four and a half pounds. She was a weird cat. Like, she hated the mailman. If you went to the door when the mailman was out there, she would attack you. <laughs> um, she was with me. Uh, we got her a couple months into me and Mr. Cinnamon living together. And she was with us the whole 18 years, you know. And she was my cat. She was my cat. And then when my nieces came to live with me the second time, she became Hermione's cat. Because Hermione's a witch, you know. <laughs> um, she was a long-haired tiger cat. She was skinny as a rail all the time. So like, I wouldn't have noticed if she lost weight, but she just stopped eating, and that was unusual for her because she liked to eat. And uh, I started trying to switch her foods, thinking maybe it was her teeth because she was old, you know. Or maybe something was going on and um, she would eat a little bit and then she just, she wouldn't eat anymore. And I actually remember I went shopping with my sister, my older sister. And uh, Mr. Cinnamon called me. We were going to a sale to buy the girls clothes because they needed school clothes. And it was a 90% off clearance sale at Clothes Mentor, which is like Plato's Closet or um, it's consignment. And so I was getting clothes for like 99 cents and stuff. Like it was really cheap for like 50 cents for some stuff. A quarter for other stuff. And it was like they had a fill a bag sale. It was $10. As much as you could shove in that bag, it was $10. Um, Mr. Cinnamon called me when I was at the sale. And he's like, you need to come. I need to take Maggie to the hospital. And so he took her over and he called me again. He's like, you need to get here. She needs to be put down. And I was devastated. And um... I didn't know how, I, that was the first animal I ever had to make, make the decision to have them put down because she was absolutely riddled with cancer and I had no idea she was struggling. I did, just didn't know. And, um, but that was a really hard decision to make, to, to put her down. And then our dog, who we'd had for 15 years, I looked down at him and I knew he had cancer, but we were trying to treat it and pro prolong his life, you know. I looked at him, I said, you better give me another two years, bud, because I can't do that. I can't do that. And then the following year, my dad died, and then he died five months later. No. Dad died in April, May, June, July. He died three months after my dad died. I was like, dude, I can't do this again. I can't do this again. And she, oh, we had her with the other dog that we put down. Um, she actually prolonged his life. I'm going to say by two years because he was starting to go downhill when we got her and she perked him up and he would go in the backyard and play with her. And like, I really think that prolonged his life. This tea is not bad for peach. Like it's not bad at all. Um, yeah, I'm a little bit worried about her. She, she was a present for Juju's eighth birthday. So that's Juju's dog. But when we got her, she had Demodex really bad, and she had inflamed. She had an infection in her that inflamed her um, her lymph nodes. So she had to be on a medicine that I had to progressively increase every day. And it, when I gave it to her, you could tell something really bad was happening to her because she would just do this, like she was in pain. And she was a she started off as a foster, and. Um, I, I knew right off the bat, like, I had to stop giving her that medicine. And she healed from it anyway, but um, it was scary. Like, it was touch and go. It was touch and go. She was a tiny, tiny little puppy when we got her. And then when she got the, the kennel cough and that turned into pneumonia, I stayed up all night with her in the bathroom with the shower running just so she could breathe. I'd, sl I'd slept on the bathroom floor. So, yeah. That's the bad thing about dogs is, like, I love... I will never not have a dog in my house. I will never not have a dog in my house. They are amazing companions and like they follow me everywhere I go. But the fact that their lifespan is so short and it's like every 10 years, every 15 years, you're putting somebody to sleep or like they're dying on you. That's hard, you know. Just, I guess that's why I'm just going to keep getting new dogs. <laughs> uh, so anyway, with that, with that really sad, depressing note. I'm going to take my drink outside and probably go sit on the back deck and probably eat breakfast and take my medicine. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you to everybody for sending me happy mail. Like, you don't have to. I so appreciate it, though. 
and I appreciate every single person that's just joining me and watching this video. I will see you in the next one.